What's up? We're in Fullerton, California. Let's rock and roll. Today I want to tell you about a real live rock and roll legend. Born in Fullerton in 1909, his name was Clarence Leonidas Fender. Now old Clarence Leonidas, better known to us today as Leo Fender, was always a tinkerer. He was a fan of the early electronics of the day. And in 1922, when he was 13 years old, he saw this small homemade radio that his uncle had built out of scratch. And hearing those loud, bombastic sounds emitting from those speakers let him know what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. Leo never stopped working with electronics. He was fascinated. He even fixed his friends and classmates radios at his house. Now Leo loved electronics but this was during the Great Depression era and he had to find a more financially stable future so he went to school to study accounting. Leo worked as an accountant for years but in 1938 he got laid off lost his job. So he decided, you know what, I'm gonna go back to the electronic stream and I'm gonna start my own business. So he took out a $600 loan and he started the Fender Radio Service right here in Fullerton. Here at 107 Harbors, the original Fender Radio Service. In the front of the store, they sold phonograph records and they did repairs for electronics. But in the back of the store is where things really got interesting back of the store is where they started inventing amplifiers and more importantly for our story guitars. In post-World War II America big band swing started to die down and there was this new thing coming up from the underground called rhythm and blues and with that Leo Fender saw this golden opportunity. It wasn't long before rhythm and blues started morphing into rock and roll, but there was a problem. All the guitars at the time had hollow bodies, so if you plugged them into an amplifier and they went a little too loud, there would be all this crazy feedback that was loud and annoying. But Leo Fender knew if you could just make a solid body guitar, you could crank it up as loud as it would go and there wouldn't be a problem. Fender's first big hit with guitars was one that was small, lightweight, solid bodied. It was easy to maneuver and it could really take a beating. It had a long, succinct neck that enabled the guitar player to get right into the cutaway and do all kinds of crazy riffs as fast as they possibly could. And it was called the Telecaster. Now the Telecaster changed everything, completely reshaped the musical landscape. And right on the heels of that came the Stratocaster with a double cutaway. It became the most copied guitar style in the world and still remains so to this day. Just imagine that, all those classic Fender guitars were invented right here in this building. As you might imagine, the guitars were so popular that Fender eventually outgrew this building, so he moved to a new place, a block away. Right off Pomona Avenue, next to Fullerton Hotspot, the slide bar, where this garage now stands, was Fender's new dedicated guitar factory. Since the guitars were easy to make and had bolt-on necks, they were simple to mass produce. And they came off the line right there. All those guys playing those vintage Fender guitars, Dick Dale, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Jimi Hendrix, Bruce Springsteen, later people like The Clash, it all started right here. Leo Fender loved Fullerton, so much so that he put Fullerton, California on the headstocks of all those early guitars, putting Fullerton on the map. And hey, they paid him back. They made his first shop a historic landmark, and they turned his first factory into a parking garage. At least it has a Fender mural. There's still some debate among purists on who really started the solid body guitar. I'm not gonna join that debate, but what I will say is Keith Richards, when inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, said that Leo Fender did for music what Henry Ford did for automobiles and what Levi Strauss did for dress. Thanks so much for joining me today in beautiful Fullerton, California. I'm Tyler Evans, rock journalist. We'll see you on the B-side. Let's go get a drink. <gasps> A grapefruit.